You think the money flow is what you need. But I have ridden a river, and I shed life-nourishing blood peacefully. The way I see, the flow of money is not the flow of life. The flow of money is not the flow of life. Pretending it is carries us on currents of strife. How contrite to believe we can throw away all we please, consuming all we don't need, busier than bees banging our knees on convenience, while they die. How many wonder why or question who answers? Is it a wonder why? When the eye inside hardly nourished to thrive, so many scrape to survive. We are blinded by the profitable product of Freudian analysis. A corporate hook to subliminal, carnal bliss. Granted research for psychoanalysis on large-scale human group subjects to understand and circumscribe our deepest fears, beliefs, desires. All to sell someone on a shallowness that couldn't be sold on its own merit? Like animal victims in industrial cages, we are locking ourselves into suburban mazes. How thoroughly we invade and subdivide, yet fail to criticize these industrious phases into an American dream or state hypnosis. Draining our will to recognize the extent of our psychosis, we are schizophrenically spiraling toward catastrophes, denying children the honest nature of his story, her story, our story, their story, my story, the great, great mystery. Oh, elders, please come by me. Speak your tales of mythic truth. Help us see. There is always light shining through our suffering. And today, I know so many that seek to save everything that can be used or made again, recycled, recreated, renewed by hands, inspirational rhythm of necessity. And we are so blessed to be part of their communities, making time to share and speak, regaining recipes for understanding harmony, the harmony between domestic and wild free, the harmony of protecting what we all need. Beyond humanity, we are life creatively prospering, or ever seeking to be, see? And the intricacies of our ancestral memories are woven into living fabrics, beautiful cultures that shelter and sustain us, insights that remain with us through turbulent turning tides. This is the wealth we seek, the whole inside that won't let us be. Yet numbed by the comfort of monopolies, we fail to see how close we are to all we need. Open your eyes. The medicine earth is at your feet. Yet without action, what we need is in a fast retreat. Just breathe, but not too deep. Or poison to your lungs may creep. Do have some water, you are looking thirsty, but not from that source. Look where it's at and be wary. Here, have some of this, it's been reduced to its pure particle chemistry. There is a sickness that infects us beyond cancer, bacteria, and virus. It is our unwillingness to let go of control. Our denial of a whole, and in treating love like a softness, just for show. So many of us are looking for a new way to go, another way to flow, but we've got our heads in the smog, our muscles are cogs and wheels, our blood running through drains and pipes, the will of our lives is bought and sold by a corporate heart so cold. They foster entire hives of human bees, denied them righteous fees for degrading duties. So what? 
fill the bank, providing money for tanks and bombs and leading the media along, filling our eyes with paper selling lies, green paper advice to promote ethnocide. A loss of the cultural means to beat back these machines and these fiends will stop at nothing in the way of their dreams of power. But they, they are few. And we, so much more. Now, now is the hour to settle the score. All or none is the only way we'll beat the gun, shun the ladder, and finally gather human to human, all knowledge, resources, insight, art, heart, humor, we have to offer. Without wide-scale slaughter, we can learn to love understanding each other and together create an elaborate tapestry of an elaborately lovely living family tree. Remember your earliest dreams and believe.